In this module, we'll talk about the basics of bringing your e-commerce small business on the net. And that basic starts with getting a domain name. That is the step number one. And in step number one, the key word over here is play to win. Okay. Now playing over here is putting your business on the web and bringing it in the game. And playing to win means that you have a strategic approach of having your online presence on the web. Now that involves number of steps also, which I'll go into detail. Those steps are getting a domain name. A domain name tells very, very briefly who you are and what you do. And then of course, you need to have very well content, useful content. And of course, then you have to tell your story in your content in your way. You need to have your web presence, your web presence hosting. And of course, you have to bring in the visitors to your website. Okay. So that, and of course, you have to bring in the search engine to your website also and generate leads using your email address. And of course, then you have to measure what is happening on your website and tweak. Okay. So we start ahead. So what you see on the screen is an analogy. This analogy over here shows a house. Okay. This house over here, this house is on a plot. Okay. This is a house, this house, and this has an address also. Now the plot, the equivalence of plot is your host is the company which is hosting your website or your web application. That is the plot. And then on that plot or the web hosting service provider, is your website or your web application. Okay. So that is the host that is your website. This is your account. And then of course, like every house and any house, there is an address associated with your website. Okay. And that is the address. This is your address. This is your domain name. Now let's go into more detail. So what is a domain name? A domain name is your identity on the internet. Okay. Now that domain name is your identification on the internet. On the internet, there is something called as the IP, or the internet protocol. Now that address uniquely identifies the items or the entities which are available or connected to the internet. And it is hard to remember for humans because it's numeric in nature. So therefore it is made textual for easy to remember. Now this domain name tells what you do. This domain name tells who you are and that domain name briefly describes what about you, what you're doing and everything about it. Now there are certain things which you need to consider when you are working with your domain name. Keep it short because when it is short, it is easy to remember. It is easy to type also and it is simple. Make it easy to type. Keep it short also. And this domain name should consist of the keywords which tell the visitors what you are doing. It tells you, you know what you're doing, but it should be conveying to the users also. And it should include the keywords about you. Target your area. Target your area means that if it is about a certain domain, certain area, say it's about education, the education, something about education should be in the domain name. If it's in the food business, something about the food business should be in the domain name. And in the domain name, uh, don't use special characters. Don't use a lot of hyphens or uh, all those things or underscores. Make it simple and pick the right extension. You can have a .com extension. You can have .org extension or any other extension depending upon the nature of your business or your service or your product, what you're doing to so keep this, all of these things in your mind. Now I will show you number of questions which you need to consider while considering your domain name. What are those questions? I'll go briefly go through them. For example, finance, insurance, e-commerce, if you're dealing with it, why? Because the services which you are offering is business intelligence. Why business intelligence? Because in 2016, it was 17 billion market in 2025. It is 147 billion dollar market, huge market. You need to capitalize on this market. 
so what you are producing you are producing analytical models and predictive models and it is global and of course your services are dashboards customer segmentation sentiment analysis cash flow analysis and forecasting all of those things and then based upon this you create a domain name so if you see over here on the screen so we see that you are dealing with data so the word data is in the domain name you are dealing with business analytics therefore bi is in the domain name and of course you are dealing with analytics so it is there now you need to check whether that domain name is available or not because a domain name has to be unique and no two domain names can be same so now i will take you to a screen and we'll see if this domain name is available or not okay now we have the domain name checker so let's see if this domain name is available or not so you can see over here that we have that screen which is showing the domain name and to search for the domain name i type the domain name so it was data to bi.com let's see if this domain name is available or not so this uh, domain.com i have used because this company has been around for about 20 years and what you see it is saying loading and let's see what we get the result okay and you see that it is unavailable so no problem let's try the other option also which was with the same and other extension which was biz let's see if this domain name is available and unfortunately their domain name is also not available so that is not a problem if you are interested in getting their domain name which is important for your business let's see who has their domain name now i pick that domain name and go to the who is server which will tell us who is the owner of that domain so i do check over here whether who is the owner of their domain name and let's see it searches and we see that there is certain owner of this domain name but the information is not available all of it due to privacy reasons but if you can copy paste the link about the owner of this domain name you will i am sure get the information and once you have that information you can contact the domain name owner or you can check with the domain broker so finally we not only go for a domain name but we go for multiple domain names because you need to uh, save and secure your business and with multiple domain names you can go for certain geography certain products certain services when you grow so you go for multiple domain names and which identify a industry or a market